The mountains grow unnoticed. Their purple figures rise without a tent, exhaustion, assistance, or applause. In their eternal faces, the sun with just delight looks long and last and golden for fellowship at night. Emily Dickinson. Hey, uh, but Hallie, what is that? It's grizzly bear poop because you can tell because it's eating berries. And grizzly bears eat berries, so. Daniel, eat the berries and see if, if it's fresh. No, bitch! It's bear poop! <laughs> Cheers. So, greetings from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. You're actually at the Jackson Hole Ski Resort right now, and before we got this episode started, we thought it'd be really good to kind of give you a little bit of a snapshot into Wyoming, Jackson, Grand Tetons, and all that stuff. So, when we were booking and planning this trip, we knew that Wyoming was going to be a beautiful place to come and see. Oh, yeah. But, man, did we underplay this one. Um, Wyoming, especially Jackson, is gorgeous yes. um, you know I, me and a couple buddies go skiing all the time we've talked about coming to you know going to different ski resorts across America this is gonna be next on our list but <laughs> tell them a little bit about Wyoming what, what should they yeah. know so Wyoming is the least populated state in America but has the largest land mass yeah so fewer people live here than anywhere else in the continental United States and the town of Jackson is really not that old. It was founded in uh, 1914, or was at least incorporated at that point. Mormons <laughs> from Salt Lake sent people here to kind of uh, just- Homesteaders. Yeah, homestead. You can kind of visit where where they uh, landed and- In the 1800s. Um, kind of built a community over on Mormon Row. It's on the southeast side of the park. Yeah. Uh, that's where you see those iconic three different barns. Um, the city of Jackson is a beautiful little town, definitely uh, like a mountain alpine town. It has a lot of shops, a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurants, a lot of cute bars and cabins and Airbnbs. Yeah, and we come from Savannah, so like if you're familiar with, if you've ever been to Savannah, Savannah has River Street and it's very, very touristy. Jackson uh, is very tourist friendly, but it doesn't have that like cheesy tourist vibe. But there's nothing you can't find as in souvenirs and things like you'd want. They just have it looking really, really good. Yes. Uh, a couple notable places to visit. We, we didn't get a chance to see all these. We're definitely have to come back. But the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar was a site we were told to go and check out. We wouldn't walk through it. Really, yeah. really cool bar. We uh, ate at Liberty Burger with a bison burger. And we were told about that place. And I would give it a five star. It mm -hmm. was really good. There's lots of places to rent uh, ATVs. Uh, electric bikes, bicycles, there's bike paths that crisscross the city from uh, the National Park all the way into Jackson. There's safari tours, there is whitewater rafting tours. Yeah, there's no shortage of outdoor activities no. here in, in this part of the state. Yeah, um, that's what I learned too, that Wyoming is one of the most visited states actually by tourists for recreational activities. And you never would have known, now we, we didn't fly in here, we drove in, we drove down from Yellowstone. But it's a really, really small airport. But I looked up uh, air flight uh, prices, and they're they're really not that bad. They're they're very affordable depending upon where you're coming in from. So us in Missouri, I think is a $200 ticket from Kansas City to Jackson Hole. 
uh, that's not that bad. No. You can bring your whole family here, depending upon your family size, for, for less than $1,000, which is pretty tough to do to any city in America. Yeah. Uh, much less a destination city like Jackson. And it's easy to hit both parks, Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone National Park. There's only 10 miles between each. And it's the Rocky Mountain mountain range that connects them. Yeah, so Grand Teton is the national park closest to Jackson. It's about 10, 15 minutes outside of town. Um, you know, a lot of parks you go to, you have to get into to go to someplace really beautiful, but there's not a single bad view anywhere in the city of Jackson or uh, Jackson Hole, uh, you know, proper, or Grand, or Grand Teton, Teton National, National Park. park. Uh, they said there's over 200 miles of hiking. I believe it. In Grand Teton National Park. Um, we didn't even touch the surface of hiking that we wanted to do. Yeah. The, the uh, We've been to a lot of parks. We've been to, you know, Smoky Mountain National Park. We lived in the, the coastal area, so we went to, I've been to Key West. Last year we went to Zion in, in the south uh, southwest. But so far, Grand Teton, it, it takes the cake. It, yes. it, it is magnificent <laughs> in every way. And I can't fathom how beautiful it must be in the winter when everything's covered in snow. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even talk about like the uh, elk refugee. Um, so there's a place to the north side of town going towards Grand Teton National Park where thousands upon thousands of elk come in the winter times and they just, they refuge here. Yes. Uh, I don't know what that it's means. It's a sight to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's but, massive, a valley that's just so massive. Yeah. So uh, again, if you get a chance to come to Jackson, Wyoming, you're not going to miss it. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I think we kick off in Yellowstone from uh, where we're leaving Grizzly RV Center and driving down this way. We'll catch you on the back end of this episode. Good morning from Yellowstone. Uh, we've already been up, we've already had our breakfast. We are planning to uh, hit the road in a minute. We have a little miniature caravan. Mom and dad's RV, mom's driving a truck behind that. We have ours. So it should be fun. Short drive, only about an hour and a half from what I've been told uh, to get to Jackson where we're staying, which is a whole lot better than the 1,497 uh, mile drive we had on the first two days. I'm sure many of you can agree short drives are a whole lot better. Uh, we do got to pack up the rig and everything before we go on out, so that should take a couple minutes. Um, but we've already had our breakfast, already had a little cold family talk about family values this morning. In case you guys have never done something like that with your family, meaning like, hey, what's important to you guys? What is your family going to be known for? What do you want to live up to? What kind of legacy do you want to pass down to the next generation? Highly encourage it. Makes for some really, really good, and it's just generally really encouraging. So. Make time to have a little discussion with your family. Do it. You won't regret it. Their rig's already packed up and ready to go. We got to disconnect ours. We've already cleaned it all out. And then we're going to hit the road and get down there. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And again, thank you for journeying with us. So we stayed at the uh, Grizzly RV Resort west of Yellowstone. Now, that is a fantastic campsite. Very, very clean. Um, concrete pads, lots and lots of room, lots and lots of space. Uh, well priced. Remember what we paid for that place? 90. I think we paid 90, so it's a little bit expensive, but here's the, here's the cool part of it. You're literally two miles away from the entrance of West Yellowstone. So super easy to get them out of. You're, you're not far away from Grand Prismatic and a couple of the geysers. About 40 minutes away from Yellowstone River Lower Falls and Grand Canyon uh, of Yellowstone. Yellowstone. So if you're in that area, I highly recommend that campsite. It's a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. We're only there for about a day. Uh, like I said, we're going to Grand Teton. What we're doing right now is all vehicles are fueling up. So we got one RV, one truck, and this RV trying to wash down the windows. On the way down from the, uh, Montana, we cleaned this thing, the windshields, I kid you not, three times within about an hour and a half. So many bugs on the road. So I'm cleaning it, not because I want to, but because I know I'm going to hit some bugs, and if I don't, I probably won't be able to see out of this thing.
Okay, so we, we got to uh, our campsite, Fireside RV Resort, right outside of Jackson. I think it's in the town called Wilson. We're gonna go downtown Jackson, just explore a little bit. Uh, since we hiked so much yesterday, we figured we'd have a low-key day, just kind of do a little bit of exploring, um, get some food. We really want to try some bison meat, see if we can find some bison steaks, uh, or maybe even elk. I heard elk was quite tasty. What is your favorite red meat? I heard elk is fantastic. I heard buffalo and bison, mm, tasty. Uh, or you just like cow. Or maybe you don't like meat. Maybe we should just keep this out of the conversation because there's so many vegetarians these days. Oh, tell, tell, them, tell them what this is first, because a lot of our viewers yeah. and friends don't know what this is. Where do we get this idea from? We got this idea from Keep your ID. Keep your day clean. And what yeah. is it? It is a, ch um, a checklist of all the things that you want to do while you're on your a trip. A bucket list. Yeah. A bucket list. They had a great idea of, like, a summer tree members, what they call their banner, and they put a list of things that they wanted to do for their summer, and they crossed off as they got there. So this is a list of things we did during our trip. We're about 25% of the way through the trip. So tell them what we've done so far. Bison steak at, bison. The, uh, at Liberty Burger. We okay. ate a new local dish. What was the new local dish? Um, Liberty Burger. What was the local dish you had? Um, I had a hamburger and milkshake and fries. Well, that's not really a local dish. What made that one special? The, mom, the parents got to eat bison steak. That's that was pretty fair. good. That's that was fair. local, yes. Bison burgers, not bison steaks, but it was pretty good. And it was and then, favored of the area. And last night we ate some bison steak that our group made. We those are just regular steaks. No, really? Yeah. Bison. What else have we done? We've also um, spotted a bison. Yes, um, we saw a bison and a, and a female moose tonight. And we photographed a waterfall. Yep. Yeah, a big waterfall. The lower falls of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Daddy smacks a fake bull on the butt. Still counts. Don't have to say fake. It was a bull, okay? <laughs> he our he dad did that at Wall Drug, Wall Drug in South Dakota. Yep. And we haven't done any of these yet. We got tons of stuff to do. We well, still have we a lot have, to do. Well, we could basically say that we could do. We did. Yeah, Grandpa cooked a meal yeah. over the fire. So, what are some things you guys are really looking forward to doing that's still on the list? I'm really looking forward to mountain biking. I want to get some mountain biking in either in Jackson Hole or in Breckenridge or in Estes. I'm, in, I'm excited to swim in Stream Lake. I'm watch the sunrise. Sunrise. campfire stories. Can't we might not be able to do because of the camp. Yeah. Have you guys watched the sunrise yet? I'm, I'm no. excited no. to go. I'm excited to go fishing wherever that is. You want to go fishing? Hey, Dino, what did you get today? What was your little souvenir? I got a pocket knife. Yeah, well, what's better to give a five-year-old? Then a really sharp blade. Hallie and me got um, a Jackson, Wyoming sweatshirt and um, a keychain that says Yellowstone National. Park. And yeah. I got this. What does it say? Uh, it said, let me read it real quick. It says, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, except for bears. Bears will kill you. <laughs> and he's already swinging around his knife. He, he has a, a fever blister on his lip. That's why he's giving that little goofy smile. It's cute. So tonight we're going to go watch some uh, movies with Grandma and Grandpa. I'm going to dump a lot of footage on the computer and external hard drive so we don't get lost. And then we're going to wake up tomorrow and go explore Grand Teton. Woo! Well, good morning from Fireside RV Resort in Jackson. Uh, we are really hoping to get out today and go to Grand Teton National Park. Uh, just kind of enjoy the sights. But the uh, haze is still really, really bad and it's not expected to lift until sometime uh, later this afternoon or tomorrow. So instead, we're just going to go do a little bit more exploring. We had it in our mind to possibly rent like an ATV and uh, check out the backcountry. Uh, but there's tons of stuff to do here. 
Uh, there's Jackson Hole Ski Resort, which um, we've never been to. Uh, there's the, I think it's the Elk Refugee um, Center as well. Uh, Rockefeller Memorial Parkway. There, there's tons of stuff to do here and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful. Uh, something we're not used to in the summer is waking up to like 27 degree weather. But they, what they say is true. The, the dry cold and the wet cold, totally different. Uh, the dry heat and the wet heat, can't really attest to, but the cold, definitely nice. It's kind of refreshing to wake up in the morning uh, and have that chill. And then as the day goes on, it warms up. So it literally goes from 30 in the morning to 80 degrees in the afternoon. But uh, looking forward to seeing Jax a little bit more in this beautiful state called Wyoming. Right now we're at the Grand Teton National Park Visitor Center to get our junior park badges. Started slow. Like a tree grows out in the open. These things don't grow overnight long and get old in the morning. So let's see how he takes us. Okay, so after much deliberation, we decided to come to Grand Teton National Park just because. Would you take our picture? Yes, I will. You give me one second. Uh, just because mom and dad aren't going to be here for uh, but one more day, and we want to make sure they got this in. So we are doing the Jenny Lake Loop Trail that runs to uh, Hidden Falls, and then we're going to go check out Inspiration Point as well. I think. I think that's our plan. So. Even with the, the, uh, the fog and everything, or the, the haze, the views are still pretty incredible. Becca, make sure you're on the lookout for bears. You gotta listen out for them. If you hear anything moving in the woods, that's what be careful for. Hey, uh, but Hallie, what is that? It's grizzly bear poop because you can tell because it's eating berries. So, hey, so if a bear pooped over here, what does that mean? There's a bear. That means a bear could be close by, right? Yes. So, the kids have been researching, watching all these hikes on YouTube, all these shows about bears right before we come. And every little sound, they're looking for bears. They're asking every single person that walks by, have you seen a bear? Have you seen a bear? So Dan's gonna get them. You have to condition them first. You have to kind of tell them, hey, listen for bears in the woods. Like, act like you're serious about it, which they should be. Hey. Hello. Hi. I mean, after all, hi. It, it is bear country. And there are signs, you know, everywhere, be bear aware. Uh, they don't want you taking food out here because of that. But we got them good and conditioned now. It's, uh, just got to wait for the right opportunity. Bear. Just magical forests, trees, lush forests. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was probably 
walking through that field. So there's a field with a bunch of flowers in it, and then there's some dead trees. And there's, oh, that sounds kind of odd, but there's some dead trees in the middle of the field, and it's really pretty. You can see the mountains behind it. How long of a yeah. hike is it? An hour it's, and a half. It's 2.2 miles to get to Hidden Falls from Stream Lake Trailhead. But you can go up to Inspiration Point. I'm not sure how much farther that is from Hidden Falls, but not far. But this trail is a must do. I mean, it has it all. It has waterfalls. You can see the Grand Tetons the whole time you're hiking. There's a bunch of, um, uh, there's a lot of water um, on your way here. And, um, we Walk were, the way. We, yeah, we were Ginny Lake. We were thinking that we could go swim in some of them later. Yes. <laughs> the water looked very inviting and refreshing, didn't it? Yes. And the colors. There were so many different colors in the field, I like all these wildflowers. I you <laughs> what? Water I jumped in here. <laughs> Don't fall backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Not fall backwards. You guys ready to head back? It was definitely a doable trip or hike. Very easy. No, no. No, no. <laughs> It's a long hike. The longest hike I've ever done. Well, guess what? You're getting information from a five-year-old. Well, guess what? You have to go all the way back to do it. So uh, mom and dad just rolled out after they deputized the kids as Junior Park, uh, Junior National Park Rangers for Grand Teton. Uh, Daniel really dug that. He asked Jessica to take a, uh, a, uh, picture. a picture of him, <laughs> but he's a, a sheriff. We'll show that right over here. Uh, today, what are we doing? Yeah, we're going to Schwabacher Landing to see the reflection of the Grand Tetons in the water. And then right beside there is Mormon Row, where the old historic barn is in front of the backdrop of the Grand Tetons. So afterwards, we're going to go check out Jackson Hall. The kids really, really want to rent an ATV, but because it wouldn't be for a full day, it just doesn't make sense to do it. Uh, we look at the cost. We might rent bikes. We're not sure. We're looking either renting a Jeep or a uh, ATV once we get to Estes. Estes Park. Uh, lots of trails around there, too. So yeah, excited to have you with us again today. And Let's hit the road. So that's what we do. We got a huckleberry milkshake and some scoops to sit down and enjoy as the day begins to wind down and we can cool off. What does it taste like, Dan? I don't know what huckleberry tastes like, <laughs> but this tastes good. And if it tastes like huckleberry, I think I like huckleberry. I 
Greetings from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. 